In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask a blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are children of Israel. There's the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship and the promises. There's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all, God, blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. In front of him, there was a man suffering from dropsy. Jesus spoke to the scholars of the law and the Pharisees in reply, asking, Is it lawful to cure on a Sabbath or not? But they kept silent, so he took the man, and after he had healed him, dismissed him. Then he said to them, who among you, if your son or ox falls into a cistern, would not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day? But they were unable to answer his question. 
my dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa dambana ng ating mahal na ina, ang rosaryo ng manawag. Ang tunay po, yung mga taong nakaranas naman tayo ng tunay na pagsamba kapag tayo po ay marunong magmahal. Tandaan po natin yan. True worship is only for those people who knows how to love. Sapagkat ang pagsamba ay nakaugat sa pag-ibig at pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin. Ang Ibanghilong binasa natin, kung titingnan po natin, worship, the Sabbath day, ang contention kasi dito yung Sabbath day for the Pharisees and the teachers of the law during those times. Strict observance of the law would say na bawal po magtrabaho during Sabbath day. Kahit ano po, bawal. But more than that, kasi sinasabi, on the seventh day, the Lord rested. Nagpahinga ang Diyos. Kaya Sabbath day, sa mga Hudyo, sa mga Pariseyo, bawal ang trabaho. Yun yung paniniwala nila. At yun yun nasa batas. Nakalimutan nila that Sabbath day is also a worship day. When the Lord rested on the seventh day, it is also the time for us to worship the Lord. Kaya nga sinabi ko sa inyo na yung worship, yung tunay na worship ay naranasan lang kapag ito ay nakaugat sa pagmamahal. Sabagat ang mga pariseyo, sa konteksto dito, ang nakita lang nila is yung pagsunod sa batas. Rigidity of following the law. Bawal. Ang nakita ni Kristo, hindi. Na ang, ang Sabbath day is also a time of worship. And worship is an experience of God's love. Di ba kapag kasimba, nagsisimba tayo, it is an experience of God's love. Pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin at sinasabi pa sa atin eh, do this in memory of me. Pero sa konteksto ng mga Hudyo, sa kanila, pagka Sabbath day, it's a no-no. Kaya nga, sinalis ni Kristo sila na is it lawful na kapag ka Sabbath day, eh, pagagalingin mo yung tao, hindi. Kasi it is considered work. The Lord said, ang importante, ang mahalaga, that worship day is also a love day. Kaya anong ginawa ng Diyos? It is not going against the law. It is actually the very foundation of the law. Love. Kaya nga, wala pong gumagawa ng batas para pahirapan yung tao. Ang batas ay para maging maayos at dahil mahal mo yung taong binibigyan mo nito. Halimbawa, sa bahay, di ba meron tayong mga unwritten rules at mga batas sa bahay? O halimbawa, ako naranasan ko yung medyo traditional yung family namin na kapag kaganitong oras na sa bahay na, ito ba'y pag ano, kasi kung minsan, yun, ba, may curfew sa bahay, bakit? Ano bang gusto kong gawin sa buhay ko? Pinagbabawalan ka dahil mahal ka. Minsan may natawa, natawa ko sa isang sudyante, nagre-reklamo kasi masyado nang strict ang parents niya. Sabi ko lang sa kanya, ibabae. Sabi ko, kaya ka pinagbabawalan dahil mahal ka ng parents mo. Bakit ano bang gusto ng parents mo? Hating gabi, nasa labas ka pa? Kung ma-rape ka, kung mabiktima ka ng mga drug addict doon, mapagtripan ka, ikatutuwa ba ng parents mo yan? Hindi. Sabi ko, may mga bata sa bahay, they are there because they simply love you. Yun dapat ang pananaw sa batas. Ang problema sa mga pareseyo at mga eskriba, they look at it as that strict, that rigid interpretation of it kaya kapag ka, pansin nyo, ka, ngayon, nangyari sa atin sa pandemic, 
ang dami-daming bataas. Ang dami-daming kung ano-anong pagdadaanan mo. Minsan magre-reklamo ka. But of course, sabi nga, it is for the common good. You just have to follow. Because the very foundation of the, the law is always love. Kaya kapag tayo po nag-worship, Sunday, Sabbath day, the very foundation of our very worship is love. It's the law of God. And the law of God is always the law of love. Yun yung hindi nakita ng mga pariseyo. Kasi gusto lang nila, pag bawal, bawal. Hindi nila nakita that the Lord is the Lord of the Sabbath. And doing good on the Sabbath, doing love, giving love, expressing love on the Sabbath, iyo yung mahalaga. Kita mo, kung tutuloy lang, kung titignan po natin yung ibang hilong binasa natin, gusto nilang itrap si Kristo. They were observing Him carefully kung lalabagin niya yung batas. For the past days, napansin niyo siguro yung maraming milagro nangyayari on Sabbath day at madala sa sinagoga ito sa bahay ng isang pariseyo. And it is actually an example of their trying. They were trying to trap Jesus. Tingnan nga natin kung pagagalingin niya. Oops! Pinagaling niya. It's a violation of the law. Well, yeah, it's a violation of the law. But the Lord Jesus Christ is not about just following the law. Tinitingnan niya yung, hindi yung letter of the law, but the spirit of the law. And the spirit of the law is that on the Sabbath day, you do good. Kapag gumagawa ka ng tama, ikay nagmamahal, then you are doing the will of God. Because the very foundation of any law should be love, nothing else. Kaya nga tandaan natin, the true worship is always rooted in true love. Ang tunay na pagsamba ay para lamang sa mga taong tunay na nagmamahal. Huwag tayong gumaya sa mga pariseyo na nakalimutan nila that Sunday is not just, that Sabbath day is not just a rest day, it is also a worship day. At wala nang gaganda pang worship, kundi pagbibigay ng kabutihan, pagbibigay ng pag-ibig at pagmamahal sa ating kapwa. Sabi nga, God is good and He is good all the time. Even on the Sabbath. Let us all stand. Let us pray to God our Father who has called us, His sons and daughters, to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may never put law above people, but practice first the great commandment of loving one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have the true spirit of charity in dealing with the poor and the oppressed, and that we may see Christ in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those in the hospitals may be healed of their infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may now rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for our personal intentions. Lord God, let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect to guide and be guided.
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, in the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now to offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Oh, mm -hmm. 
please me. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now pray for the blessing of religious articles and rosaries and other religious images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.